Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. First things first, go ahead and click subscribe, like, and comment. But in this video, we're gonna be teaching you how you can set up a TikTok advertising account that allows you to advertise in the United States and in Canada if you don't live in the United States. So uh, you may know that I'm obviously from the United Kingdom and this is a video by re popular request from everyone in my Disc Discord channel. So if you're not in my Discord channel, click the link down below, visit my Discord channel and you can join that. And if you've got any questions you have about advertising on TikTok or dropshipping or anything, you can send me a message on there. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how you can set up a TikTok account in the United States. Now, before I do show you the process, you have to know that this is not an agency ad account. This is not something that's going to allow you to advertise worldwide. If you want to do that, it's either going to be very expensive or very time consuming. This is how you can get started literally today with TikTok ads. So what you want to do is click the link in my description. The top link in my description will take you to Surfshark. Surfshark is essentially a VPN provider which will allow you to set up accounts in the United States of America. Now I've tried about three or four different VPNs before I started using Surfshark. These guys are the best and cheapest option that you can get without actually getting any advertising bans or banned by TikTok by creating an account in the wrong country. And I'll explain why that is in a little bit of detail in just a minute. But first of all, click the link down below in the description and you will be taken to this website here. You can get two months free and 82% off of Surfshark if you sign up with the link in the description. You can see here it's only going to cost you $2.49 per month. So if you are watching this video and you want a TikTok account in the United States and you don't want to set up an account for $2.49 per month, dropshipping is not for you because if you're going to be spending $40 a day on TikTok ads and you can't afford $3 or $2.50 per month on, on a VPN to even get started, then click away now. Those of you who are still here, click the link down below and set up a Surfshark account. And then what you want to do is you want to come to Google and you want to search for the Surfshark Chrome extension. You want to get that Chrome extension and then add it to your browser. Now you can also use the Chrome, uh, the actual app that you can install with Surfshark. I just like to have it on the Chrome extension mostly for this video's purpose. Once you've done that, it will take you to this here and you can see what it will look like. There's loads of different bits and pieces you can do here. Now this is why Surfshark is incredibly useful for setting up accounts in the United States and why you should use the link below to create it. You wanna go ahead and click on static IP. Static IP allows you to use a single location. This is a static IP address, a static proxy in the United States. So click here search for the United States, and then just click on the first one. Whichever one you can find, you can scroll through, there's hundreds of them, and just choose a, um, a v <laughs> choose an IP address in the United States of America. You can see here, this is your IP address. If you want to go and check it, you can click this link and it'll just verify that for you. Then what you want to do is head over to advertising.tiktok.com. Sorry, actually ads.tiktok.com. So search for, don't search for TikTok ads, just search for advertising at TikTok or create a TikTok ad account and it will take you to this website here. This is obviously the sign in, sign up page for TikTok for business. Now, if it takes you to the sign in page, you want to click on sign up now. And I'm going to walk you through the process. I'm going to have to pause it every now and again so you don't see all of my details. So you're going to have to put in your email address. So we're going to just come up with a, an email address that I own. So we're going to use an email address from an old store I did about five years ago. You want to use an email address that you have access to that you will be able to log in and use. Then you want to give yourself a password. So I'm going to call it um, and you need to give it a special character as well. Okay. Now then what you want to do is click send code. You will then come up with this verification thing where you need to prove um, your identity. So you want to select two objects that are the same shape. So it's M and M. Make sure to click these properly, otherwise it won't allow you to do it. And then it's going to send me a verification code to my email. So I'm going to put that verification code in now. It's And then you want to click sign up. Uh, you want to agree to the terms and conditions. You don't want to subscribe to there, everything else. So click sign up 
and it will take you to the next page. Now, if you have an account, if you have a business set up in the United Kingdom, then that is perfectly fine. You don't necessarily need to um, have an account set up in the United States. Now, this is the important part here, create an account, country and region. You want to make sure that you've selected United States. That's the first thing. You then want to come down to industry and select e-commerce. And then I don't know, let's say for example, jewelry, or whatever you're thinking of selling, this isn't necessarily a problem. Business name. This is the legal name of your business. I'm just going to call this. Um, what should I call it? Um, so this is just a, a name that I've come up with. If you've got a business name, put your own business name on there. It just makes things a lot easier. If you want to verify your actual business, use your actual business name. I'm not going to put mine on there because I've already created an account for my own personal business. But let's say your business name was King Goods. You do that. Then you want to choose your time zone. Now, I suggest that you choose the time zone that you're in. Now, even though you set up an account in the country that you're hoping for, so for example, in this case, we're hoping to set up an account in uh, USA. Where is London? Um, you want to make sure that you have create an account in the correct time zone because when you go in and you edit your ads you want to make sure that your ads are set up in the same time zone as your shopify store alternatively set up with this in eastern time for example and then set your shopify store up in exactly the same time zone otherwise it's going to become complicated making sure that you have got uh, ads coming in and spending on the same day that you're making revenue now as long as over a three-day period you're still profitable it doesn't make any difference but that's just one thing to think about and then we want to put your phone number in. Now you can choose uh, any of these, so Canada or the United States, and then your currency. Okay, so you want to make sure your currency is using USD, or for example, if you're selling your if you're selling in pounds for whatever reason, um, put it in GBP or euros if you're in Europe. But most likely you're selling in the United States, so you want to have your currency in US dollars. It just makes things a considerable lot easier. Then you want to head over to Google and search for free United States phone number and just click one of these links. There's loads of them. So say, for example, we use this one. We go to this phone number here. We just click on it now. A read received SMS. And then it'll take us to this page. We want to copy this phone number here and then come back onto this account. Click paste and then say you agree and then click register. This will then register your account and you want to then go back to the phone number thing that will then show you the phone number code if TikTok sends you that code. Um, now it's probable that it won't. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay, so if you come back onto the phone number, you can see here one minute ago, TikTok, this is your verification code. So just copy this verification code and then paste that somewhere so i'm just going to put that into google and then come back onto tiktok ads it's going to ask you to describe your business so you want to put your website in here so i'm going to put kinggoods.com uh, the billing information you want to put in your street address your province your postal code and whether you're an advertising agency so i'm just going to go ahead and fill this out now actually before i do that one thing that you can do to make things easier for yourself is actually choose um if you go to transferwise i think it's wise.com you can actually create a business account on wise which will give you a united states bank account if you set one up so if you're in the united kingdom go to wise uh basically it will allow you to set up bank accounts in different currencies and then it, from that bank account you can then actually find um it will give you the address of that account so you can then use that here uh, and then what you want to do is obviously click continue to take you to the next page i'm just going to fill out the information now so I've filled out that information and I'm going to click continue to the next step. And you can see here, it's now taken us into the ad account. We now have an ad account set up in US dollars with a US address. Now, for those of you who are wondering how you can get a United States address, all you want to do is head to this website here, like I just mentioned, and you want to head to wise.com. And on wise, like I said before, you can create a business account in the United States. Now, it may take a couple of days for everything to get approved, but this will give you an account in the United States. Now, as far as I know on TikTok ads, it doesn't necessarily matter what you put as the US address. So you can either buy a virtual address in the United States, or you can set up a personal account or a business account on Wise. Now, I recommend you set up a business account on Wise because that means you can then spend and pay for your ads in United States dollars. Um, and obviously, if you don't want to do that, then go ahead and purchase an address. Or if you know someone in the United States or a family member that you're happy to use their address, then use their address. Now, I don't think it necessarily matters the address that you use. I've never actually received any information from TikTok. I've never actually received any ads or anything in the post. And then obviously, you can go ahead and you can set up your ads here. 
So for some reason, my camera stopped working, but if we just continue, I'll just show you that this account is allowing me to use US dollars. Scroll down to the pricing, which is at the bottom. You can see here, I can set up my account in dollars. And then just to prove that you can set it up in the United States, there you go, United States and Canada. You can now choose those countries. And just to prove to you that I am actually in the United Kingdom, so to prove to you that I'm in the United Kingdom, you can see here that I have got Surfshark turned off. I'm not connected to anything. If I was, it would say connected, not connect. Uh, and you can see there, that's my location in London. So if you want to come and stalk me, I'm somewhere in London. I'm not going to zoom in because I don't want people to know exactly where I am. But that's me in London. And just to give you straight back into the ad account now, you can see I can set up my ads to Canada and the United States. So that's it for this video. If any of you guys are interested in seeing any more videos about TikTok ads or anything like that, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to film a video for you. And anybody who wants me to help them with their ads or any of their stores or run any of their ads, click the link down below. You can go ahead and send me a message either on Instagram or you can watch my case study video down below if it's there, if I've actually got a built-in time and you can go ahead and watch that and then book in a call with me. Uh, if it's not there, just send me a message on Instagram and I'll be happy to get on a call with you and we can discuss what I can do to help you out running your ads. Uh, other than that, I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and until then, live long and prosper.